welcome back guys with a brand new video and in this video we will we are diving into the fascinating world of computer iconic 741H01 arithmetic logic unit or ALU and uh, basically the 741H01 ALU designed by Texas Instruments in the early 1970s was a groundbreaking piece of technology according to my knowledge it served as the heart of many early computers handling automatic and logic operations and if we at its core the 741A1 ALU was capable of performing a range of functions including addition subtraction and uh, logical or and logical na logical and and logical or and many more its uh, versatility made it a crucial component in the evolution of the computing uh, let's uh, break down how this uh, marvel worked uh, basically the alu or the automatic logic unit consisted of several sections including the arithmetic unit logic unit and uh, control unit the arithmetic unit performed additions and subtractions and uh, operations while the logic unit handled logic operations and uh, the 4181 ALU has four main operations select inputs Align for 16 different operations based on the combination of these inputs. Here you can see that so here we have the four combinations of a uh, four bit you can say architectures uh, for 16 different operations. Four, 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 four that makes 16 different operations, and it's a four bit architecture made it perfect for handling data in early computer systems you can see here that that is a 4-bit architecture and it is easy to handle in early computers this incredible chip was a game changer in the realm of computing powering machines and uh, that laid the groundwork for modern technology and uh, even though modern processors have evolved for beyond the capabilities of the 74181 its impact on the history of computing cannot be overstand. It's a testament to the innovation of its time. And if we discuss that, how it's going on, then here we have also the uh, truth tables with respect to the S3, S2, S1, and S0, S and uh, bit art for bit architecture and here we have the outputs with at f is equal to 4 m a is equal to 0 here we have the m you can see uh, for m is equal to 0 and for m is equal to 1 and you can see here that how what we get at the output uh, let me show you the explain you the working of the all these Basically, these are the inputs that are we directly using controlling from here because we have to use this on multiple places. And you can see here that this only single LED single input is controlling this. You can see this side of the uh, ALU. And if we make this high, you can see this is not controlling this part. And if this one is controlling some of uh, four of these and four of these and if we see towards the next let me tell you one thing that this s1 s3 is controlling most of the this part okay so this is the basic thing and if you talk about the mm, you can say uh, F, F, F talk about the F then you can see here let me uh, lower this then you can see here this will directly control the F output that's how it's working you can see if directly that if we are uh, low this pins then it means this one is low 
and if this one is high and this one is low then both are flowing and you can see here that which one is low so the output also becomes low and you can see here that if I make too low then these are directly controlling these outputs only the variations comes in the mm, numberings that either who, those which one those bits are controlling so this is the a 741 h1 alu and if we further uh, go towards that uh, 741 h1 is a pioneering piece of hardware that revolutionized computing and uh, here i have also uh, explain the sum of the workings and uh, you can also see the mm, here we have the logic uh, electrode tables for this ones and here we have the designs that for designings we require uh, the five uh, and gates and the outputs of two and gates will be the inputs of the uh, one OR gate and the output of the three AND gate will be the inputs of one OR gate. As you can see here, we have to implement this to all the holes here. That you can see here, the output of these three becoming the input of this OR gate and similar in the all cases. And if we see here that how we have to use this, as I already told you that this part is in most of the cases controlling here. This part uh, you can see here by the uh, wiring diagram also because it's in front of you if you want to design this and uh, you can also check the video by sewing speeds if you want to draw because I'm changing connections uh, some lines if it might not be visible then you can easily check out if you want to draw this by the hand or otherwise you can also use this simulators name as falstat.com and uh, you will go you have to go into the combinational logics and the last one is 741-81-ALU and if you require any type of assistance in electrical and electronics project then ping me a message on my whatsapp number and also you can uh, visit my upwork at fiverr profile Thank you so much for watching the video please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icons and please like and share the video with your fellows thank you so much